What's up guys, Eternal here and today I'll be playing Nasus top with Conqueror against Darius. Let's go with Doran Shield and Q first. So as you can see Conqueror with Resolve, combination of Sustain and Survivability and playing with Ghost, don't feel like TP is needed with all the Sustain I have in runes and Ghost will help sticking to targets later. Darius is one of the harder matchups he will try to bully me, but it's fine. With this build I'm gonna reach 40% CDR, I have 10% in runes, so this will scale as I level up. I let him push, so I can freely farm. It's okay. Also, Doran Shield is great against Darius passive because it will keep refreshing. And I have a lot of armor, though he has armor penetration in his kit. Maybe I'd take W second. If Xin Zhao comes, this will be easier to make a follow-up with the slow. And if not, that's fine as well. Yeah, he's coming as expected. Question is... Will I get something from that? Should be coming. So E first of course, because of the reduction. I use Ghost as well, have my Conqueror ready and boom, nice. Actually, I can push this now. Let me get my Shin. Should be able to afford. Yeah, I keep doing also as like resets with Q, as you can notice. Of course, you want to get CDR early to be able to cast your Q more often and that way gain stacks faster. So in these longer duels you can imagine once you get your Q stacked you can deal all this true damage and also heal from that, combine that with your passive, bloodline and if you are low health this will make the damage go really insane. This is a challenger build, something different from usual Nasus. And by going like this you can go tanky without some crazy AD stuff with same effect or even better. Also gaining health from the laning phase, full armor. Even when going against something like Riven, you can really survive. And that's really good, I recommend playing Nasus like this, you can climb for sure from lower elo. If he's open and you are playing top, I recommend playing him like this. Then got minion blocked. Oh yeah. Since I have my ult, That, that. Oh yeah, Conqueror should also work with his E once stacked, right? And that's amazing. <laughs> kind of was saving my E 
wasn't sure if I would have enough mana for Q. Actually, I had a notice. But of course, if you have mana, you want to cast E first. Since in case you didn't know, it reduces armor. 15% scaling with rank of disability. Do I want boots or do I want this? Let's go like this since everything is going so well. So additional CDR. To be able to stack faster, why not? Since Darius is behind, else I would go Boots, Mercury Threads this game or Tabby against Oats as a Korean champions but not in this game, of course you can see Morgana, Skew, Echo, Rengar all the slows and of course you get more stacks from the big ones Not sure where Rengar is, but I should be fine. He's worth, like, not worth a lot of gold, so I don't wanna waste resources at him too much. Of course, using my old faster to deal the additional damage from area of effect. As you noticed on ultimate cast, you have your Q faster. for gold not enough for Trinity Force that's something since I'm not running defensive items. I keep stacking this. An ally has been slain. Now it will go faster. Oh, fail. Right now, it doesn't seem like he will try to stop me. He realized I have too much sustain. I have enough for W and Q. So if he goes like this... Should I flash for him now? It's okay. Look at the damage. more stacks let's go 
Oh, he's doing rift. At this point I can try to get some stacks. This is the perfect camp to get a um, nice amount. And I don't have to hurry since wave is being pushed. So I can get every single one, I think. Like this. Wait. Wait, I didn't get that. No, it's cleared. Okay. So fast stacking. I went greedy. Someone is coming or not? I think if they come at this point, I still be fine. Oh, you want to fight? <laughs> At least I can stack faster now. Not bad already. Also with Shin from Trinity Force. First red. Let's take every single one from that. That seems broken by the way. Maybe there is blue buff. Also on your Q you have increased old attack range, in case you didn't know. Oh, there's a blue buff, nice. You can't. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> and the conquer healing. I think that's the best setup I ever played as Nasus. Never tried conquer on him. Show me that. <laughs> and I healed Bob. Yeah, with blue buff, that seems infinite. Ok, 
Okay, I have a lot of gold, but I have what I need as Nasus. So the CDR. So I don't care about anything else. Zin should just outpush top. <laughs> what is this? Hey, maybe I can dive you. Oh yeah, I can. Lord. <laughs> That's totally broken, guys. The most broken Nasus build you have ever seen is here. And it's all for you. Get rid of the turret. But then, okay, time to back right. I hate the minion block. So this for greater healing. This to stick better to the target, and let's see how well he can do. Hey, that was longer than I thought. On the wrong side. Alright. I just stuck. Or you stayed. At this point, you should be dead. Not too obvious. <laughs> what are you trying? Should have waited for the queue. I think I didn't finish him off. Could get three stacks. And I shouldn't use E at this point because it's killing. Minion wave. Let's go for one thousand stacks. Hey, that's so long. But they surrender already, so... Well, at this point having such amount of stacks is fine as well. So, thank you guys for watching, hope that you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.